total in my opinion. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Better stock full ammo for this thing. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, full health. Still got some energy to spare a tiny amount. Like a double A battery's worth. Oh, that's okay. That was amazing. That was amazing. And it's definitely good to make sure you get full rocket launcher ammo after that because if this game follows the previous game, what happens next is going to be mighty interesting. I might as well st keep playing. All right, let's get going. Okay. I'm going to roll with this. So, what did this do for me? How is this constructive? Aha! Blew up this. Which is the way to go, perhaps? Maybe? If I'm right, this should lead us to the drainage system now. Okay, it's a little bit different than before, but it should lead us to the drainage... Oh god, no. I forget what that sound is. I didn't know they could burrow. They're kind of like ant lions mixed, mixed with head crabs. Um, ant lions, by the way, are from Half-Life 2 if you've not played it. I kind of just assume everyone has, but some people have not got to play Half-Life 2. Which I gotta say, not playing Half-Life 2 is a goddamn shame. Oh god, fuck! Hit me right in the head. Oh god, parkour. Oh jeez. Huh. That's bad. I saved though. I'm dead. Okay. This mod's pretty great, but I gotta remember that it is a mod, but there are some times throughout the game. And honestly, less times than in a lot of big ga big name games, like full budget games. But sometimes it does get rather frustrating. Come on. Come on, man. Oh fuck, I made it. Okay, yeah, it, it like bounces you forward. They gotta game test that a bit more. You wanna make the jumps hard, but what was that shit? It's okay, I saved. I care not what you say. Hush thine mouth, you son of a beer-bellied wench. Okay. That's not good. Okay. I'm gonna run out of here. There we go, there's the pipes I know and love. Mario style. Alright. Now, the next area we're going to, I call Tank Alley, and I will show you why. Right. Okay, that was a horrible idea, and I shouldn't have done that. I probably did more damage to myself than they possibly could have endured to me, even if I was just using my crowbar. That was a bad idea. But, um, yeah, Tank Alley is a very specific, at least in Half-Life original, it's a very special way you have to go about doing it, so maybe they have transferred that same sort of feeling onto here. Um, and it's not an easy part of Half-Life. Knowing this game, they're probably going to make it even harder. Um, this game would be hard in some parts on, on hard difficulty. That's the only problem I have, is when, difficulties, when games have big difficulty spikes, um, it sort of needs to remain the same difficulty the whole time, because there's certain parts of this game I don't know if I could do on hard mode. I mean, I could do the whole game, but certain parts I just don't know if it's possible to do on hard mode. Um, and they had that big problem in Half-Life... In Half-Life 2 Episode 2, they had a big problem with that, where the final mission is so hard, it's like one difficulty level up. So if you're playing on hard, it's like a difficulty level that's not even in the game. That was bad, I took a lot of damage there, because for some reason, this won't let you... Let's be careful. And I've got 7 health. Wow! Okay, they throw grenades. Better be careful about that. Alright, I'm gonna be a little more careful about that this time. Um, this is definitely the same kind of area, so I've got to be very careful, because it's... What you gotta do is you gotta draw them into one area, and lead them into another, and then another, and then another, and that same sort of pattern. Alright, now this does not seem like the kind of area I want to be. So I'm gonna draw them all over this way first. Um, this way's not easy, but it definitely seems easier than what I would be dealing with. Let's 
go one more. Go one more. Wow. Okay, they definitely fired at me. Um, I gotta be very careful on this part. I'm just gonna be very kind of pop in, pop out. That's bad. Whoa, whoa, it's not letting me go down the ladder. I don't know how he was able to do so much damage to me. That seemed like bullshit to me. Gotta save this rocket launcher ammo. And what's firing at me right now is a tank. So there's currently a tank firing at me. Alright, now let's see if we can take out that tank. Hopefully it works like the original game. Okay. No sign of hostile, sir. Over. See if I can take out that tank, because the tank is kind of a dick. And I don't like him very much. He's an asshole. Okay, there's one tank out. I'm doing decent on ammunition. Reload everything. Delta team, clear. Uh, what? I'm scared. I don't know where this guy is. He sounds really close. Oh, God. Okay, hopefully that guy died. Um, and hopefully that's the only tank in this immediate vicinity. I can already tell it's apparent that this area is very different already. It's the same idea, but it, the level design is entirely different. Um, which is good. I don't want to play the same game over again. Uh, I do not. I've already played Half-Life a billion times, and I'll play it a million times more. But originality is fantastic. I mean, this game's not Half-Life. Someone said, like, oh, I can't play Half-Life. Oh, just go play Black Mesa. No. No, 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 you silly goose. They're completely different games. I mean, if you, this is evidence of that. You can't say that. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's like saying, oh, I can't play the original Super Mario Brothers. Oh, it's okay. Go play Super Mario World. It's pretty much the same thing, right? No. Not the same thing. Not the fucking same thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to check both these areas. There's those normal Half-Life 1 tank hangers there. If I remember correctly, there should be satchel charges over in this area. And a guy waiting for me. If this leads up to the original... If this is like the original, there should be a guy. No, I guess there's no guy. There's always a guy waiting for you here in the original one. Um, and rocket launcher ammo. That's good. I believe I'm full on now. Check. Yep, I'm full on it, which is excellent. Good. Okay, that's not going to be used. That's closed. Can we open this? Can't open that. This. Now, in Half-Life Opposing Force, I want to say, or maybe it's Half-Life Regular, I don't remember. There's, these are important here to get up into an area. Well, I don't see how that would be important in this case. Um... Right. How about this? Hey, it's on that one car from Toy Story. Uh, um. Okay, yeah. Th th I refuse to believe they would put this there with this doing that's uh, with this not doing anything, especially because you did something with this in the original game. But right now, I'm not seeing any use to this, so I'm gonna let this alone. Um, I see we can get over. No, you couldn't even get over there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this alone. Because I don't think you need to do this right now. So, I'm just going to go through that opened area over here. Oh, the door's a different color. Alright. I'm going through here. Now, this is the... Oh, God. This seems like it's the second part of Tank Alley. And if it is... If this is the second part of Tank... It's the second part of Tank Alley. Different tank, though. I don't know if that thing can see me. I just blow that thing up in one shot? Holy shit, that worked well. No! Fuck you! Can't get the more rocket launcher ammo. God damn it. Damn it all to hell. I wonder how it tells when it's, when it's time to close the door. I wonder, I wonder when it does that. Maybe it's just time related, or maybe it like judges when you're too far away to be able to get back to it. I don't know. Probably time related. Alright, this should be the area. If this is like original Half-Life, it's the area with little tents. Yup. Tents it is. More campers. 
Yeah, oh, of course it hit the fucking... Right, I'm tempted to use this, but I know I have to save the ammo for something later. Especially because I apparently I've wasted one of the bullets. Because it didn't hit the tank. Maybe it did. Hello? That guy died. Um, there's usually health over here, yeah. Shit. These guys think they know what recon is. That's bad for me. Serious misunderstanding of the word recon. Major misunderstanding. Um, first of all, recon guys, you generally don't want to shout it out within ear earshot of the uh, enemy. Generally, just a good rule of thumb. Now, not always the right way to go, but usually you'll be pretty well off if you follow that rule. Uh, yeah. Next rule of recon, you don't send your entire force to do the recon, or it's like kind of just turns into a full frontal charge, which is what you guys seem to be, like, the only thing you guys are able to do correctly. Um, right. But you actually don't do too badly when you do your full frontal charge. Alright, where does this lead? Remember correctly, this should lead to the minefield. Um. Okay. I wonder what you would do in this game if you didn't know how to crouch jump. Because... That's a common thing for a kid of my age. I, crouch jumping was just something you had to know. But crouch jumping, I mean, because it's mainly consoles these days, and games don't do that very much anymore, it's not quite so common knowledge. So I wonder. Um, yeah, this is a mine area, isn't it? Should be a alien ship that comes overhead and things get serious. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Hello? Is everybody cool? Chill out, man. Chill out. Just take a chill pill. Ah, oh, more mines. You can actually see the mines in this game. Um, in the original game, if you watch my original playthrough, I actually have the exact course you have to walk on Half-Life to not hit any of the mines mapped out in my head. Which is, like, evidence of how much I played Half-Life 1. Which I think is probably one of the greatest games of all time. When somebody asks me to choose between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, I have a hard time choosing. Um, they're both so good, but in my opinion, I usually give Half-Life 1 my favorite for gameplay. I'm not going to say better, I'm going to say my favorite, um, but it's it's so close. I'd probably say, if, I, if, I, if someone told me what game could you not live without, I'd probably say Half-Life 1, but it's so damn close for me. Um, most people would probably say Half-Life 2. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize, but they're developed by different companies. Valve just bought the franchise. It was originally Sierra. And Blue Shift and Opposing Force were made by, um, Gearbox. So, that's why Gearbox is kind of one of the weirdest game companies. They made Duke Nukem Forever, which was terrible. Then they ported a ton of great games to PC for us. Um, they did, you know, those. They did the Half-Life, Blue Shift, and Opposing Force, which, by the way both just as good as the original Half-Life thing. They're, they're excellent. Um, I didn't like Blue Shift as much the first time I played through it. I didn't, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it as much. Um, now I definitely... The second time playing through it on my channel, definitely glad I did, because I like it. I uh, appreciate it a lot more. Um, now, this should be the probably... I don't know if they have snipers in this game, but this is where they would be. Yeah, there's definitely sniper nests. Um, I don't know if they'll have it, but they were in the first game and they're a pain in the ass. Okay, so hopefully no sniper nests. And I'm gonna take out that thing if I can. No nope, bulletproof. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. Sniper den. Snipers. Oh. Please. Where? Somebody help me. You okay? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Snipers. Shit! They're in the vents. Now, there's two ways to deal with snipers. I want to save this ammo for later, so I'm going to use the first way. Go, 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 go. All right. First way is this.
Damn, I'm good.